The U.S. Coast Guard's birthday. A little history for you here. The Coast Guard was established back in 1790 with 10 vessels called cutters to enforce federal tariff and trade laws and to prevent smuggling. Big deal here. That role has changed, of course, over the last 232 years. And 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live from Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater to break down those jobs. What's up, Jenny? Good morning, guys. You know, some like to call the Coast Guard the Swiss Army knife of the national security strategy because of the many roles they play in keeping our country safe. And here in Clearwater, many of you know that it's home to the largest air station in the country, but it is also home to the largest port security unit as well. I think the term Coast Guard is a little bit deceptive at times. It depends on the coast and what you want us to guard. We have troops deployed all over the world, conducting operations on all seven continents um, at any given time. And the sun never sets on the Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Donnie Brzezuska doesn't hide his pride in talking about the Coast Guard and his most recent post here with Port Security Unit 307. We set up security zones around high value assets overseas, and then we protect those assets from any threats, whether it's swimmers, terrorists, uh, whatever it might be, we have the capability to respond to that. We got to ride along on a recent training mission to see for ourselves how this unique unit works. We use it to do um, anti-terrorism and force protection. Today we were doing some training on our maneuvers and tactics and simulating what would happen if somebody had tried to enter a security zone while we were deployed. Coming up. One of the cool things about these port security boats is they can pack them up onto military cargo planes, take them anywhere in the world, and they can be ready to go within 24 hours. And then we're self-sustaining for between 15 to 30 days um, without resupply. Um, so that means we can go somewhere, set up a base of operations, um, conduct command and control, security both at shore and at sea, um, and we don't need uh, resupply. After that. They do all of this while wearing 50 to 75 pounds of gear. Also, something special about this particular unit, the majority of the people serving are reservists. A lot of the people that serve here are already public servants, whether they're law enforcement officers, firefighters, doctors, lawyers. Uh, and so we just have a really deep connection with the community because of that reservist tie. And of course, we are so grateful for each and every person, of course, that serves uh, for the Coast Guard. It was really special to get to ride along with them. And you know, they've deployed the port security units uh, in response to the USS Cole bombing, deployed uh, to help with Operation Iraqi Freedom. And they also do humanitarian responses as well, like the earthquake in Haiti in 2010, uh, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, and most recently Hurricane Ida just last year. So they do so much and we are so grateful and Grant, it is such a beautiful morning to be out here at uh, Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater and we were treated to a show just a few minutes ago with the launch. I mean, it's just such a patriotic, beautiful morning. <laughs> You're right. It'll give you the chills, you know. You've got the, the yeah. Coast Guard there in the background and then off in the distance you had, the, you're right, a beautiful sunrise complemented by an awesome rocket launch uh, with the Atlas V. But we